All right, 667-770-1015. Once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And Mega Max said, your parents and granny probably don't love you. Yeah, well, go fuck yourself, all right? You're lucky to even have a fodder. What are you talking about, I'd buy brother? That for a uh, are you fucking piece Song of shit. Song that plays when Ghost is smoking a cigarette, trying to forget all the innocent Iranian souls that you perished in the Iranian piece of Revolution of shit, 09. Man. LOL. W W W D to uh, Dodge Draft. LOL. I'm not fucking kidding around, man. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Anyway, we're going to connect to Radio Graffiti right now, all right? Even though these people are pissing me the fuck off. There are 31 participants oh, in the great. conference. Oh, great. Here's Troll Hell. <laughs> all participants all right. are muted. I don't feel like hearing Troll Hell right now. I really don't feel like it. All right? I really don't even want to be on this show, for heaven's sake. I don't even want to be on this fucking show. But here I am, Okay. Right before, or I should say right around now, America's birthday. Anyway, uh, let's see. Who do we have here? The Fifth Collective Radio Graffiti. Reporting on crimes against humanity both near and far. This is the Fifth Collective News Network. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keith Relford. Tonight, we have an update about the notorious terrorist known as Jag the Luxray, better known in the Middle East as Jag the Slayer. Back on December 15th, we ran a news piece exposing him as the newest accomplice in Ghost Samas backing attacks against the Israeli Defense Forces. While Ghost retreated back to the United States after the IDF swept through the Gaza Strip, we now have confirmation that Jag is still over in the Middle East. One of the hostages kept by Hamas has managed to sneak out some audio depicting what sounds like Jag the player murdering one of those kept detained. Fifth Collective News has secured the audio sample, but listener discretion is advised. Get over here. Get your ass over here. What, 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 me? Oh, gosh. Oh, don't gosh. Don't you cry. Don't you fucking cry. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. If you oh, keep gosh. this shit up, oh, I'll give you something oh, to gosh. cry about. <laughs> why? Why? Just why? Are you serious? Do I really have to fucking explain it to you? Okay, let me put it to you this way. If you're a Wait. you're about to get screwed. Wait, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't... No, 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 no. We believe this precedes the Ghost Show episode from about two weeks ago on June 10th. On that episode during Radio Graffiti, someone called in asking if Jag the Luxray was present. Ghost denied that Jag was there, but later on we intercepted an apparent communication going overseas that seems to be between Ghost and Jag the J player. Hello? Uh, hey Jag, what's going on dude? Oh, hey, Ghost. I wasn't expecting to be hearing from you so soon. Yeah, well, Abdul told me you apparently got into it with one of the hostages. Ah, uh, damn it, Ghost. Look, it's these fucking c You know how much I hate dealing with them. Jag, dude, listen. I know you're upset and all, but I need you to hold things down over there until I can get everything ready for the big one here in San Hambonio. I know, I know. Look, I'm sorry, it's just... I can't stand... My blood just gets so boiling. I know, dude, I know. Don't worry. Pretty soon we'll be moving on from the and then we can start going after some of the other, shall we say, less desirable contingents of American society. <sighs> okay. I'll try to keep my cool here a little longer. Um, has anyone on your show been heckling me or doing whatever fucked up shit they like to do? Uh, not too much. I had a few callers ask about you, but I took care of it. Don't you worry. <sighs> All right. Thanks, Ghost. Are you sure you're going to be okay for just a bit longer? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Jagwell. You take care now and trust me. When things are ready, you'll be the first one to know. Local law enforcement in the San Antonio area has been made aware of the situation 
and are currently investigating further to uncover any potential threats Ghost is planning. In the meantime, we'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you updates as soon as they come out. Reporting for Fifth Collective News, this has been Keith Relford. Stay safe, everyone. You fucking piece of shit. Dude, I'm, I'm so fucking tired of this fucking stupid, goddamn, fucking stupid fucking show, man! Just fucking get the shit out of here! I'm tired of this fucking, get the fucking mic! I'm tired of this fucking shit! Jesus fucking Christ, man. I don't even understand why I even do this fucking show, man. I'm tired. I'm fucking... I don't fucking... You know, this fucking shitty shack chair. Listen to this fucking shitty shack chair. All right, man. I guess I got to keep going. I, I guess. I don't fucking know. National Champion Ghost Radio Graffiti. Uh, National Champion... Graffiti. Good afternoon, and welcome back to the National Chess Tournament Finals. I'm your host, Hank Hill, and we are playing here in Denton, Texas. Our final players here today are Ghost, the host of True Capitalist Radio, and the Engineer, a man who has worked for Ghost since the beginning. We usually have strangers play against each other, so having a boss and their employee competing is something to behold. Now, before we check back in with the players, this game is sponsored by our friends from Menards. Save big money at Menards. And the Price Master. Make him an offer. Now, back to the game. It looks like Ghost is in the lead and could go home with the trophy if he has a few more correct moves in store. Most of the engineer's chess pieces are off-grid, so things aren't looking good for him. And just like that, Ghost is now our country's newest chess champion. Yes! Yes! I fucking love this game! <laughs> you rule, Hambo! Woo! Fuck yeah! You're the man, Ghost. You proved me wrong, Ghost. You really did have it in you. Ghost, you've demolished all your opponents flawlessly. As well as the catering services in the back. But that's not important. <laughs> uh, here's your trophy as well as your prize check of $100,000. Congratulations. Do you have anything to say to the audience and your viewers? I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported me throughout the entirety of this tournament and who came to all my previous puppets. Hey, Granny, if you're here tonight, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, and with that, let's give Ghost another round of applause. Oh, fuck me. I think I had too much of the catering service's food. I feel like I'm going to blast ass in front of everyone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you guys all hear that? Well, my god. Wait a minute. It's coming from ghost shit. What even is that? It looks like a... a... a butt plug? Whoa! I had no idea that ghost likes to sit 4th of July sparklers in his ass! Well, they're lit! Hey, proud bad dragon. Did, did that come from your place? No, me and the others don't sell officially licensed butt plugs. Mm. However, that is an interesting mm. idea. Hang on a moment. Mm. I've been hearing the buzzing correctly. Mm. It's vibrating in Morse code. Uh, no, it's not. Mm. It's probably just a fly. Mm. Shut the fuck up, ghost! Mm. What's it mm. saying, Raiden? It's saying... Mm. We are... 
fucked, get out of the ri- We? Well, would you look at that. Property of Jag the Lux Ray is engraved on it. <laughs> I always knew my grandson would be a cheating. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me you were being sent chess moves from a third party this whole time? No, it's not that. I was just... Ladies and gentlemen, You've just witnessed the unthinkable happen during a national chess tournament. The champion getting caught red-handed receiving commands from a third party through his ass. I'm taking back the trophy and prize money. No! Stop! That's my proof to show that I'm more than a capitalist and a broadcaster! Well, that's a damn shame, because I'm handing this trophy and prize money over to the real winner, the engineer. Congratulations, you're the new chess champion. Yeah! 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 You know what? I find chess very boring. I think I'm too retarded for this. Hey, Arn, you wanna go to Popeyes and play Pokemon Go? <laughs> that sounds better than sitting and watching ghosts playing with and moving around black things on a board. Let's go! YOU SON OF A BITCH! GOD DAMN IT! GOD DAMN IT! I HATE THIS FUCKING SHOW! I HATE THIS SHOW! I HATE THIS FUCKING SHOW! Oh god, man! The Radio fucking graffiti, by the way. Hey, girls, let's get the radio graffiti. I want to get early radio graffiti. <laughs> this is the kind of shit. Every fucking time. Every single show. Same fucking shit. Oh, my God. All right. I, I, I just, I can't stand this fucking goddamn st stupid shit. I can't stand this fucking stupid shit, man. Give me a smoke. I'm sorry, folks. All right, give me a smoke here. And I'm just trying to make sure, you know, just calm my ass down. I mean, look, I mean, y'all are hearing this shit. For all those that didn't partake in the earlier festivities, somebody recommended us that we raid somebody. So we raided him, and the troll somehow took control of this person's stream. And it was just pure <laughs> autism I'd buy ever that since. For a dollar. And look at over the hill, Ghostler over here. Happy Fourth of July to everyone with another ten beers. <laughs> I'd buy that. For Basically a trying to obligate me here. Ghost be like you lazy kids have it too good. Go die for Israel. I'll be damned if I have to pay forty dollars for a stake in this economy. Uh, I, I think that's a horrible way of putting it, but I do think forty dollar stakes are completely absurd. All right. Uh, anyway, let's continue, I guess. I don't really want to do this fucking shit. This is... Uh, let's take some numbers instead. How about that? Maybe maybe some numbers will be different. Uh, how about... Uh, how about 440, Radio Graffiti? Oh, hey, Ghost, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, I just want to say I recorded our last session together, and our... I thought the chat would like to hear it, so I'll just play it right now. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, my heart! My fucking heart! Oh my god, this is fucking hurting my heart! Oh my god! All right. Let me calm down. Everybody just calm down here. You know what, man? I, I just can't stand this fucking shit. I can't fucking stand this stupid garbage, man! Stupid fucking garbage, man! It's crap! It's crap! Man, I, I, I don't want to do this show anymore, man. I, 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 I may have to end it early or some shit, man. I, I can't do this fucking shit. 
Even numbers. I can't even call on numbers. This shit's happening on numbers and shit now, man. Oh, my God. Hey, look, if I get another goddamn bad fucking call, I'm doing another video. And guess who's up next? Sapphire the Fox. All right? So just keep that in mind the next time you pricks are going to fucking be doing this shit. All right? All right. How about uh, how about my leadership bid, Radio Graffiti? Let me tell you guys something. I've just stumbled upon something that's got my capitalist senses tingling. It's called the Tard Right Movement, and it's making waves in our little corner of the Internet. Now, you might be wondering, Ghost, what the hell is the Tard Right? Well, strap in, because I'm about to break it down for you. Jailcat Jones, a loyal member of my beloved Vaughn chat, had the vision. He saw the potential, the raw, unbridled energy of a movement that could shape the very foundations of our digital existence. And who's leading the charge? None other than Vox Artificials, another chat regular. But here's the kicker. I'm not just sitting on the sidelines, sipping my Johnny Walker Blue Label and watching this unfold. No, no, my friends. I'm throwing my hat into the ring. Why? Because I believe I'm the only man intellectually fit to lead the TARD right. You see, I've got the stock market predictions, the right-wing rants, and the sheer audacity to take this movement to the next level. Vox, my friend, consider this your official challenge. The Ghost Show is my platform, and I'm ready to debate, strategize, and meme our way to victory. So grab your keyboard, Vox Artificials, because the Tard Right Revolution just got a whole lot more interesting. And remember, folks, when it comes to leading this movement, there's only one name you need to know. Ghost. Ah, oh, Jesus, fucking the fucking tard, right? You fucking piece of shit, the tard, fucking right? Oh, shit, fucking shit. God damn it, I'm fucking tired, dude. All right, another fucking video. I, 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 I give me a fucking break. I had just told you. I just told you. I just fucking told you. All right, and I got yours, cat cans. I got your video. Don't worry about it. I got it saved. We're gonna hook you up. You, yeah, you said something about it being being a feels good and a feels bad man song. So we'll we'll go ahead and take a look at it. All right, uh, let's see who we have. Well, who the hell? Gaping asshole, radio graffiti. Buy that for a dollar. Ghost, we know you're a filthy Jew, and that's why you're doing radio graffiti. You want American kids to die for Israel and oil. You're a fake. Doesn't actually care about this country. Draft Dodgers for the win. My name is Ghost, but you can call me Jew. The jihadi God bless America, the greatest country on earth. Trump 2024, Trump 2024, Trump 2024, Trump 2024, Trump 2024. And right off the bat, I flew right off from my state to the Middle East and converted myself into Islam by sucking one of those dirty Muslim cock, uh, excuse me, go into the mosque and call the prayer all day long. All right, I just, I just slipped my sentence fragment, so don't bring it up again. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, as I was stating, as you can see, folks, I am wearing this non camouflage suit, very white and and they're of course wearing this turban, noggin cap that makes my bald fucking head hidden, and also it makes me look like a fucking mock mood. So yeah, I mean, so much badass going on in my style, you know, it's good. Uh, I work with the insurgents since this day and age, fighting off with AK-47s that were made in the 50s and 60s. All right, and then we against these capitalists paying to leave this place, so-called America, and it's a shitty country that I used to hate living in this place, which is a joke. Oh, goddamn rule this country in America, which is a shame. So this is where we're at. I mean, Americans are such disconnected. They're disconnected from reality, and it's an utter shame because it's a detriment to our country in more ways than one. I mean, you got the fucking white libtards, feminist dykes, social justice warrior, all that, all that bullshit. It's fucking stupid, man. I mean, it's a whole circus sideshow in America, and I don't, I don't appreciate that one bit. I don't appreciate that. As a matter of fact, 
you know, everybody over there at fucking Baghdad has been pretty cool. I'm going to hook up with this badass semi-automatic sniper rifle called Dragon up right into my hand. Also, shout out to my comrade, Nikolai, for sending arms to this point in time. In fact, that stupid Russian cockeyed vodka drinking dumb eyed idiot. So, anyway, as I was stating, all right, when my tactic goes like this, this and that, I'll go high from building to building like I'm a fucking sniper camp from Team Fortress 2 and going straight up. Then, snipe those dirty U.S. Marine pigs down. All right, basically, there are a bunch of pussy, all right? And I don't like them. So if everyone comes to invade me, we will consider them a danger and destroy them immediately, including any checkpoints in our way. We will deal with those who destroy Iraq, and we will return them to the front line. Iraq will be restored, so it is what it is. So anyway, <clears throat> got my own radio transmitter set up, signal. And while I'm here, at least scumbags talking, just in case, uh, before they get on their knees, wild dog hunting, or excuse me, marine hunting, these guys out causing pain. And if you real Americans are hearing this while I'm pre-recording, we will hunt you down for the rest of your goddamn lives. You should be punished forever. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and pop some heads off for Allah right now. And hold, hold on, before I do that, let me just go ahead and call the prayer, all right? Islamic prayer at any point in time. Because Allah gives a shit on us more than God himself, all right? Because it's some fucking Western folks that are kind of trapped in this bubble of modernity. And nobody gives a shit about it. Oh, well, I prefer the middle religion is Islam. Whether people want to believe it or not, Allah is the big badass belligerent, and we should all go there teaching some lessons about what we're fighting for. All right, anyway, let's continue and pray it real quick, and then focus our mind for Allah. All right, let's bow our heads, let's bow our heads, let's go ahead and pray to Allah. Is everybody ready? Allahu Akbar. Subhana Rabbi al Subhana Rabbi al Subhana Rabbi al Sami Allah, Huliman Hamida, Abdana, Walakal Ham, Allah, who Akbar, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Allah, who Akbar, Rabbi al Firmi, Allah, who Akbar, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Subhan Rabbi al Allah, Allah, who Akbar. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Excuse me. Got a little bit of cum gurgle and stuff on my throat. Uh, I mean, hummus in my throat. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Time goes on and you know, etc. So anyway, all right, let's do this shit. Fuck stalling. Like I did not those past previous years in time in my fucking broad internet broadcasting fucked up fucking shitbird career. We had them, which was in what, 17, 18, whatever the fuck it was. Modern ghost game, go suck an egg. We have to control this area, men. Uh oh. Move out and stay low. Look what just happened, folks. It's happening! Looks like the convoy stopped for a reason, so I guess uh, it was the checkpoint for sure. Let's target them, shall we? <laughs> I think we got one Marine here. This guy on the street. What's his name? The Hitman Cause. All right. What a what a piece of trash. Must be that who served as a soldier after all this disappointment since. I was talking to him about the mature subject matters on we're supposed to resign. And what ended up happening, much like what's happening here, that he called me a fucking racist while I was asking about it. And I'm a melting pot of friendship. But no, but no. But no! He ignored me for saying that I was a racist bastard. So fuck that. Anyway, I'm blocked on this guy's head as a target. I'm an awkward one, infidel. Down. Let's move on, shall we? All right. I think we're okay. All right. I think we're okay. At least I hope so. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is supposed to be the esoteric. Uh, 
expert. Look at this guy. Looks like an expert. This guy looks like Manly P. Hall during his young days. Yeah, right. It's some man dressed in combat medic with a nerdy looking idiot in glasses who likes to unzip and take his pants off and then whack off to some fucking hentai, uh, horny Pokemon, furry sex, even finger in his ass whenever he likes it on Twitter. All right, or X or whatever the hell it's called. I bet that real dumb was Jag the Luxray behind this and his close butt buddy named Sapphire Fox, who is also a fur behind the side of the Humphrey truck, is the same stupid fruiter that fucking whacks his Karen off to the stupid cartoon shit, and he should be ashamed of himself, and of course he's not. Of course, I'm probably sure he's watching some fucking preteen anime bullshit, putting about two or three fingers in his ass, gyrating it counterclockwise, and getting off, because that's all these fucking orcas do! So anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm tired of this shit. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Anyway, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. Oh, yeah. Oh, Akbar! Oh, Akbar. Oh, Akbar. Oh, Akbar. All right, let's move on, all right? Uh, I think we got Captain Desi. I hope that's a real Captain Desi. Long time, and I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate that son of a bitch. Always never understood the punch line back in those years in the inner circle. So I'm going to pop a cap on his ass. A la Akbar. Also, type cap to ban Captain Desi. Right, he's old and cringe. Anyway, we're moving on to another building. New couple of windows in front. I think this fucking retarded Marine who lives in California got that ugly head. Uh, you know, who likes to pick up so many cans at his home in Hank Ford and whack off to Rule 34 Mickey Mouse horn, which is a sick freak. Also, he went right to the school. And all he right, all the right, shut up! All right, shut up! Shut that shit up! Jesus fucking Christ, how long did you work on that piece of shit? Good God, and Five Finger Prostate Punch where the rumble ran. I got my hand over my cock. America can suck it. Death to America. There you go. Look at that. All right, there you go over there at Rumble for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. This is start, This is turning out to be ridiculous. I'm going to take some more numbers here. All right, how about 585 Raider Graffiti? <laughs> hey, I just wanted to, uh, hello? Yeah, what's up, man? I just wanted to give a shout out to Helmet Boy for an awesome troll tonight. That really made our night. And uh, you're a fucking traitor to Trump. Trump 2024. Yeah, and- yeah, great. That's why. That's why he's gonna fucking bow down to Putin, who's a fucking despot, who's been in the damn fucking office since '99. What the fuck does Russia have on you people? All right, fuck Russia, fuck Putin, fuck China, fuck North Korea, and fuck Iran. Fucking simp's. 504 Radio Graffiti. Helmet Boy 2024. Let's go. Well, it was Helmet Boy 2024 now. Everybody, everybody's doing everybody's down with Helmet Boy now. Uh how about 504 Radio Graffiti? Type G P for ghost plushies. God, fuck you, you fucking stupid fucking weirdo. Are you the idiot that's tweeting all that? <laughs> it probably is, all right. I'll take a couple more numbers here. How about uh, 289 Radio Graffiti? Hello, Ghost. I just want to wish you a happy happy, uh, Independence Day. Hey, thank you very much. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday to America. You want to give a shout out to anybody? I want to give a big shout out to the engineer. I think he's working hard tonight. And I want to say, fuck you, trolls. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, fuck you, trolls, you fucking pieces of shit. How do you like that? Uh, how about 916, Radio Graffiti? I find that ironic, you little piece of shit. You know what? You're lucky that you're not in front of me. I'd slap that little mustache that you got on your goddamn French frog-looking face. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to say that, dude. I'm, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that shit. But people are pissing me off. I'm sorry. I mean, the guy looks like dildo, for Christ's sake. And I just have to say it. It pisses me off. I'm sorry. I had to say I'm sorry. All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. I look, I'm sorry, dude. All right. I'm sorry. This guy pisses me off. I'm sorry. Baby. All right. All right. Th- that's enough. All right. Why you got to bring up old shit? Uh, how about 484 Radio Graffiti? Hey, what's up? 
bitch ass motherfucking furry ass motherfucker. Hey, it's one of my blacks. What's going on, Mega Max? How you doing, oh, yeah. dude? Yeah, you can pull that shit out. You say some racist shit like I'm a street gay, do you? Yeah. You want to go fucking fight some right there? That's what we had to do. No, no. Calm down, all right? I don't have any money. All right, so let me just put that out there Please, first. I have no money. Are you, are you about to part French or not? Am I going to what? Look, how about I give you an Edward pass? I, I don't need an Edward pass. That's okay. I have a Come friend on. named I have a friend Edward. named Edward. I have a friend Come named on. Edward who's black. That's close enough. Come on, let, me, let me give you let me give you an Edward pass. Come on. Come on, bro. I don't need Come to on. say I don't need to say, I'm not going to say it. I don't need to say it. All right? Bro, I'll give you a pass one time. Come on, let's do it. You are not I'll the give you a, you, excuse me. I, I mean, I get it that you may be, you know, like a house servant you or something, but why. you're not you the king the of all blacks. blacks. All right? You are not the king of all blacks. Hey, I can tell you what I what I have to tell you then. So I'm gonna give you Edward pass. I'm not gonna say it. All right. I I I I know that you may be a good house servant, you know, and you may be above everybody else, look, but look, I think it has with the A in the end. No hard R. Just say just say it for real this time. All right. It has the A, um, a in the end. And you come on, you know the word, bro. You know the word. Uh, well, are are you are you saying like Niger? Oh, Niger. Bro, it's simple, bro. Come on. Niagara. Come on, say it. Niagara. No. Just say Ni it, bro. Come Ni on. Niagara. All right. How about say it for real this time? Uh. Uh. No, I don't want to say it. I don't. I don't want to say it. You got no balls, bro. That's why you got hey, no fucking balls. No, I, well, I respect black people. All right. I mean, I. I you know, I, I think they've had yeah. you know the bad okay, end. You can even, even say just. But he gave you a pass, bro? Come on. No, I respect black people. I don't want to say it. I, I'm not going to do it. I know that you you're black. No, listen, I know that you're black and you're telling me to, you know, have an N-word pass, but I respect the contributions that black people have contributed. You know, and, I'm and I talk about Iran and I think it's something about Pakistan or something else, like all the people dying over there. You see that video? You know, look, I'm giving, my, I'm giving you right now a, a friendly cotton branch of friendship. And I just want you to take it and just, can we get along? Can, you, you, can we do the black guy handshake and, you know, we could just move on, maybe bump some fucking rap music or some shit? I actually like Spice One. Are you familiar with Spice One? I thought we just talk about Iran. You ran? Well, typically that happens whenever you hear, like, sirens and shit, right? You, you ran and you jump over that porch and you jump off of that fence, right? Yeah, all right. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's block. That's block hustler lingo, baby. What are you talking about? I'm a cultured man. All right. Yeah, you're cultured, but what about the time you? What about the time you just say that you're? You know, man. Say the say the Edward again, bro. Say the Edward. You know what? I'll tell you what. You want to you want to black off with me? You want to have a black off? Because I'll have a black off with you right now. If you want you want to challenge me to my blackness, I'll have a black off if you're ready. Yeah, all right. You want to know? Well, let's see who know, knows more about Black history. All right. What oh, name an invention? Right. Name an invention a black man has done right now. A patented uh, invention. A patented invention. Yeah. All right. Uh, George Washington Carver. What did he invent? Peanuts. He invented peanut. You don't invent peanuts, dude. All right. What do you mean you invented yeah, peanuts? Oh, really? You don't know that. He oh, actually did. Oh, God. Dude, are you not? Yeah, you're not. Did. Hold on. Oh, you're hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We was peanuts and shit? Is that what you're telling me? We was peanuts. So you mean the yeah, fucking... That's what you meant. You meant the peanuts, you fucking tarred. Come on. Oh, my God. You're fucking tarred, bro. Come on. You you have to probably Blacks? go by that. Uh, are you, you, you got to be joking, dude. You, who taught you this? Al Sharpton? Who the fuck taught oh, you this shit? Well, you're fucking tired. He did invent that shit. That's why I learned about it. And you and you don't even know about he invented peanuts. He invented peanuts. How the fuck do you invent peanuts? Can you explain that? How the fuck do you invent a peanut? <laughs> How the fuck do you invent a peanut? By by all plants, bro. It's that simple. It's not how it is, you fucking tard. And you call people tards. So I'm now calling you a fucking tard. Well... <sighs> Dude, yeah, I, you're fucking you I, I'm in shock. I'm sorry. That. I'm in shock at this ignorance that you're you're you was oh, peanuts and shit, bro. You was peanuts bro. and shit is I what you're I'm saying to me. 
Dude, I, I fucking humiliated you, bro. That, that's your fault. That's your problem because you want to do Black History Month shit. Oh my god. That's your fucking problem. How the- well, hold on, okay, great. How the fuck- explain this to me since you're so educated on the Black History subject oh of inventors. God, god. How the I fuck do you invent a peanut? That's a fucking nut! It's a fucking <laughs> nut! Idiot. Oh, That's God, get, fucking you know what? Get, get the fuck out of here, you fucking piece of shit. Are you fucking kidding me? We was peanuts and shit. Oh, my God. You know what? Let me ask fucking Grok or something. You know, who invented the fucking peanut or some shit? I, I'm sorry. I have to do this. I'm sorry I'm taking time out of the show for this shit, but I'm not, this fucking guy acting, he's acting like he's so certain of himself. All right? Look, we're not talking about fucking car rims over here, buddy. All right? Jesus fucking Christ. We're going to Grok, all right? Hold on. Let's go to Grok. All right, who invented the peanut, all right? Uh, who invented the fuck the fucking peanut? How the fuck do you invent a peanut? Am I, dude, am I stupid or something? I mean, do I not know something that, that's, who invented the fucking peanut? Who invented it? I'm sorry, I have to, I, I, what the fuck? The peanut or the Archaeus hypogei is a, 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 a crop that was originated in South America, all right? It dates back 7,500 years, all right? It was cultivated by indigenous people in the region of now Brazil and Peru. All right. The Spanish and Portuguese explorers played a vital role in introducing peanuts to other parts of the fucking world. All right. So there it is. Archaeus hypogay, which is the peanut, was brought in 7,500 years ago by a bunch of Latins. All right. It was the people that sacrificed virgins in order for the sun to come up that, you know, fucking, you know, created the fucking peanut, you fucking idiot. All right. Now, I was going to say that, you know, you guys, you know, never mind. I shouldn't. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. That's going to be fun. People are going to be like, oh, you racist piece of shit. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. I was going to say, I think you guys have the Guinness Book of World Record of uh, taking out a goddamn uh, catalytic converter. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All right. No, I'm sorry. I was fucked up. I didn't mean to go there, but this guy with... We invented peanuts and shit. I couldn't believe it, dude. I, I'm sorry. I mean, that, that, okay, we're even now, dude. We're, we're fucking even. We're, we're even now, okay? We was peanuts and shit. We was peanuts and shit. <laughs> All right, let me, let me pick up another number. I'm sorry. I, I had, I, we went off keister there. Uh, speaking of uh, peanuts, uh, Art Hammond, Radio Graffiti. Uh, Art Hammond, you there? Uh, what do I expect? He's got a fucking couple fingers up his fucking shit funnel or something. Uh, who else do we got? We got Dr. Disrespect, Radio Graffiti. Yeah, 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 yeah. 333 Banjo Deluxe Ray. Oh, great. There we go. That's great. Uh, how about Eat My Ass, Radio Graffiti? He gets busted while attempted to bring a cap gun out, which is a retarded move. And then later on in the principal's office, he gets in trouble. And then he lunged for the principal's office, uh, or the principal's, um, you know, pen and pencil holder and took a pencil and tried to stab himself in the neck in an attempt to try to prevent himself from being arrested. That son of a bitch clearly lost his mind out on what he did. It's just utterly sick that he's trying to do this. All right, look, so, we, we don't need to bring up old shit, all right? We don't need to bring up old shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, how about, uh, who else we got here? How about George W. Bush, Radio Graffiti? Slam that huh? No, 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 no! Fuck no! No! Jesus fucking Christ. How about, uh... How about Lubitarian Radio Graffiti? Recently, people have been asking me what kind of lube I use. Personally, I find KY Jelly works the best in most situations. It's perfect for opening yourself up as a bottom, great for taking multiple schlongs at a time, and excellent for orgies. Before they invented it, we used to use pomade as lube, since it was pretty much just wax, but it was hard to get out of your anal passage. When me and Mrs. Ghost engage in pegging, we just use a bit of spit, but I wouldn't recommend that considering the fact 
that I've been doing this for the past 40 years. Dude, I, I see a fuck all you fucking pieces of fucking stupid goddamn shit. God damn it. I hate this fucking show. I hate it. I hate it! Jesus Christ, I hate this fucking show, man! And who, who the fuck is Drafters Radio Graffiti? Who the fuck is Drafters? Drafters! You know... Proud <laughs> Bad Dragon Radio Graffiti. You know, I have to say this right now. I absolutely hate it. When all these assholes say, Al, I want to dodge a draft, I want to dodge a draft, nya, 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 nya. well, the reason why I tell them this is because, oh man, I, I, I don't want to remember it. I don't want to remember it. I don't want to remember it. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to remember how I dodge a draft of Viet fucking Nam. Oh no. Uh, I said it, didn't I? Fuck. Man, all my friends are going to Vietnam. But not me. I'm going ahead and smoking some weed. All right, job, Dad. It's tobacco. Jesus Christ. Well, it could be worse. I could be remembering uh, my first beer. Ah! Oh, you not feel like You know, I gotta have a one-to-one -one call with my nephew. Hey, it's your Uncle Ghost, by the way. Oh, hi, Uncle. I was just gonna beg by my boyfriend's big black cock. As much as I don't appreciate you laying your ass getting puckered by a I just want to say that if you want to stay away from the war, I can give you a beer and we'll have a talk. Uh, okay, but could Tyrone Jr. come? Uh, no. Oh, okay. My nephew. My sweet gay nephew. I'm going to make sure that piece of shit fruit bowl goes to the fucking war. You hear me? Oh! <laughs> How bad dragon. I hate America. I hate America. God I hate get the fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Oh. All right, that's it, dude. Fuck off. I'm doing fucking two fucking videos to shove it down your fucking throats. Hey, what is this? Mega Max 578, you're such a tard. It was George Washington Carver who invented the peanuts. He was the father of the peanut industry. Jesus Christ. Shut the fuck up, Mega Max. I don't want to hear your stupid, dumb bullshit, too. We was peanuts and shit. Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. We was peanuts and shit. I'm sorry. Look, hey, I haven't taken a break. All right? I've been at this shit for four and a half hours. I know I'm probably going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to be here for a minute. All right? So d d just shut the hell up. Greasy Gary. They're calling me now. That's great. All right? Go fuck yourself. Piece of shit. I'm fucking tired of fucking asses, man. I'm talking about <laughs> You fucking piece of shit! You're fucking making me talk! You're fucking almost choked! You fucking you fucking piece of shit! Fuck, man! Fucking asshole. Fuck all of you, dude. Ugh. Fuck all of you, dude. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep eating. How about that shit? We almost got him. Look at these fucking pieces of shit. We almost got him. That's great. All right, we'll get back to Radio Graffiti, I guess, man, all right? All right, where are we at? We're getting back to Radio Graffiti now, all right? All right, let's see. How about Mr. L, Radio Graffiti? Uh, Mr. L, you there? Or are you just going to play with the pita papa? 
Yeah, probably going to play with his Peter Popper. All right, who else do we have here? How about... Uh... Uh, man, uh, how about Stinky Hambone, Radio Graffiti? Anyway, we've got some group over here, some bronies. Just chilling through the checkpoint. I think they're called the Pony Dump, the disgusting group that I just spiced them. Immediately, you know, meh, meh, meh. So I'm going to go ahead and quick scope on this one automatically. Bang, 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 and bang, a la Akbar. We got four infidels down. Name Chicago Cowboy, possibly a brony b- due to his family issues. Mega Brody, the kind of guy that likes to be verbally degraded, and that's why you're like, yes, yes, call me a fucking freak show Brody. Yes, yes, I love it. Tell me you're going to whip me with a fucking bro hoof on my fucking ass. Yes, tell me that you're going to cut my 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 horse hair tail and and use it as a violin bow yes anyway can we uh here we got peppermint swirl aka william cannon the pedo trash brody and sunburst i hope that these pony fuckers are going to hell because they are absolute bunch of parabs who has molested horses and shit like that or better yet why don't you bronies go back to canada and hunt some dead moose all right instead of ponies and pony Puss and all this other shit while you're on there, you fucking fruit bowl. I mean, that's the way you should do, you sick fucks. All right? No bro hooves for me. So noob down. Noob down. Anyway, we're moving on. We got some autistic groups somewhere along the way to the area of the Baghdad. And by the way, I got to reload my rifle because I'm spent. So here we go. I can barely see the autism squad right down on the streets. Not sure what they're doing, but of course, I think we got somebody else up in here, right? Let's see. I think this guy lives in UK, and he's mentally handicapped. Oh, dear. I seem to have spotted a named Alex Chapman, a.k.a. Uh, Al Chappers. Some fucking Brit bong. And his little gay autistic buddy, uh, DJ Launchpad. Both of these guys were true rumors. I mean, what... I mean, what do I, what am I going to say? I mean, they're lazy pieces of garbage. You got fucking DJ Launchpad guy, who's a 21, 22-year-old man, just bouncing on these bouncy balls and going boing, 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 around like a fucking loose cannon, groping small things to each other, which is a sick piece of shit, okay? Okay, I did not know. And this was a guy that was in this server hanging out with a bunch of 13, 14, 15-year-old kids. And, you know, the bad part about it is, the bad part about it is most of these kids that are in this, uh, I don't know, this fucking Discord server, they're all trannies, identify as transgenders or gay. And that makes it even worse. That makes it even worse because, in my opinion, young people that are identifying like this at 13, 14, 15 years of age, I mean, they are the prime target for these sick Woody Allen butt-loving pedophiles and who the hell knows who the hell knows what's going on in there and then Al Chappers was so damn blind he's he, dude I'm not, he's so fucking weak he can't even lift up his fucking eyelids he can't even see this while walking around with his big black strap on uh, or excuse me with his bare hands and then touching the same shit fucking over and over and over again that Al Chappers is some kind of a groomer. I mean, yeah, I said it. He's blind and a creep, okay, you morons? Anyway, let's pop their whole brains out for free brain surgery. And oh, no, no, uh, I mean, that's enough. Jesus fucking. Yes, I mean, that's enough. Man, this has been one fucked up fucking show, dude. This has been a fucked up fucking show. Get the shit out of here. This has been one fucking show. I, 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 I'm just gonna keep eating. I. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. It makes me feel better. Pretty good shit. All right. I'm doing me right now. All right. Fucking asshole. All right. Let's get back to the show. All right. All right. Let's see. Who do we got here? How about um, my dear friend, Radio Graffiti? I don't know 
what the hell that was supposed to be. And Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight, fueling up for what? Sitting on your fat ham bone ass? Don't breathe in when you're shoveling goy slop in your cocksucker. Just shut the fuck up, all right? And Quaker Ghost, just want to give a quick shout out to all the OG Splicers. A lost art slowly being replaced by AI. Have a good night, y'all. I'm going to go crank it and then hit the hay. Happy 4th of July, boy. Just because I'm eating bean dip, dude, all right? I'm, I'm just, it's bean dip. All right, it's a fucking easy dip. I'm sorry, all right? All right, give me a fucking break. Shut the fuck up. All right, how about you out here? All right, how about merch announcement, Radio Graffiti? Let me tell you, on this magnificent Weeaboo Wednesday, I've made a purchase that has me more excited than a bull in a china shop. You see, I stumbled upon a Cerno Fumo. Yes, that's right, the Ice Fairy herself. Now I know what you're thinking. Ghost, why would a capitalist like you be interested in a plush toy? Well, let me tell you, this Cerno Fumo is no ordinary plushie. It's like a piece of heaven wrapped in soft fabric and I've fallen head over heels for it. Picture this, I'm sitting in my luxurious office, sipping on a glass of the finest bourbon, when I come across this little gem. The Cerno Fumo is about 20 centimeters tall, with those adorable wings and that mischievous grin. It's like Cerno herself decided to take a break from freezing frogs and join me in the world of capitalism. And let me tell you folks, this Fumo is the real deal. None of that knockoff nonsense, I got it straight from the source. Confund, they know quality when they see it. Now you might wonder why a man of my stature would be so enamored with a plush toy. Well, let me tell you, this Cerno Fumo has brought joy to my cold, capitalist heart. I've been carrying it around like a prized possession, showing it off to Mrs. Ghost, the engineer, and even my dog Pinochet. It's become my lucky charm, my secret weapon in the cutthroat world of finance. And let me tell you, my predictions have been spot on ever since I got this little ice fairy by my side. But that's not all, my friends. Brace yourselves because I've got news that'll make your wallets quiver with anticipation. Ghost Fumos are coming. That's right, I'm launching my very own line of plushies inspired by yours truly. These limited edition Ghost Fumos will be available exclusively on Ghost.Market, and pre-orders start right now. Picture it. A plush ghost, complete with a miniature cowboy hat, red neckerchief, and a scowl that could melt steel beams. It's the perfect companion for those late-night stock market sessions, or when you need a little extra luck in your life. So, my fellow capitalists, Get ready to snatch up these ghost fumos faster than a high-frequency trading algorithm. They're going to fly off the virtual shelves like hotcakes. And remember, pre-orders are open now, so don't miss out. As I always say, buy low, sell high, and cuddle your fumo ghost out. You've got to be kidding me, dude. You've got to be fucking kidding me. A fucking plushie? You know, I, I, you people have been badgering me for this, and I'm starting to grow a little concerned that, you you know, you people are actually serious, and, and you know, that's what even makes it even more bizarre. Uh, who do we have here? Let's go back to some names. How about Big Pipe, Radio Graffiti? Uh, who the hell is Ashton, Radio Graffiti? In the TCR chat, not that long ago. All right, you two, I gave you those custom roles that you asked for with the private chat. Have fun gooning. Uh, All right. Ah, right. uh, who am I kidding? I'm a sellout. I traded furry porn for those two freaks to boss me around. If only I could get rid of them. Ghost, you fat bastard. You're a genius. Let's see here. Uh, Thunderdome. Uh, oh, there he is. Three hours later. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm edging Sapphire. Come on, take me over the edge. Three, 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 you fuckers. Uh, uh. <laughs> take a smoke of this pipe, you fucking freaks. Sapphire, no. I never got to give you a Texas mud snake. Please, Ashton, no. Don't do this. Please, I'll give you my entire cop porn collection. Just don't pull the trigger. and hell. Remember, type 333 to throw Jack in front of a semi truck. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Jesus 
What the fuck, man? Get the shit out of fucking shit out of here. Oh my god, dude. Look, I I can't keep doing that. Dude, if this is all radio graffiti is gonna be, I mean for Christ's sake, man, I can't keep doing this shit. All right, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more video. Jesus Christ! All right, uh, J. Sev, by the way, this is him. Time to activate all agents. Ghost is a psyop. So great. We're gonna go from the weirdo bullshit that we're listening on Radio Graffiti to this crap. Oh, cr oh, this sounds. This is gonna be great. Uh, let's go back to Radio Graffiti. Uh, once again, if you want to call in six six seven 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 zero one zero one five. Once the operator bit starts talking, push in the code 844286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. Uh, how about Black Eyed Penis Radio Graffiti? Suck on a penis. Oh, God. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a great big penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a great big penis. Giant cock. Big fat tits. I love that dick. Just let me suck it. I'm so gonna wrap it. You know I'm trumping. They call me on me for kicking. Yeah, I'm beefing. Let's do it. 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 And do it. And do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Let's do it. Suck on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a great big penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a penis. Yet tonight I'm a soak on a great penis. Go fuck yourselves, you fuck. With your stupid fucking AI, shove them up your ass! Dude, I don't know how much longer I can take this fucking radio graffiti, man. It's the 4th of fucking July, man! It's the 4th of fucking July here! Jesus fucking Christ, man. What a fucking... Hold on. Biden my time, radio graffiti... It's been less than 24 hours since the 2024 presidential debate. And Democrat progressives are cutting, replacing Joe Biden as the DNC candidate. What did they expect from an 80 year old man who's up past 9 you, p.m.? You, the you, real you fucking pieces of fucking shit! God damn it! It pissed me off! You piss me off! God damn it! All right, dude, another fucking video. You see, I can't. I'm not gonna put up with this shit. All right, I'm not gonna let you idiots think that I'm just gonna sit here and put up with it like some cuckold or some shit. I ain't putting up with this crap. Um. Anyway, let's get back to radio graffiti and see if we can have at least a couple of calls or some shit. All right. Once again, the uh co or excuse me, the call in number to call is above the chat box right in front of your screen there. Six six seven 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 zero one zero one five. Once the operator bitch starts talking, you push in the code eight four four two eight six, and once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. Uh, how about uh, Ghostler E Deck Radio Graffiti? In 1965, CIA gangster police beat me bloody, dragged me in chains from Kennedy, New York Airport. Since then, I hide in forced jobless poverty, isolated, alone, in this low, deadly town old house. The, the brazen, deadly gangster police in 
Pump it underlings, spray me with poison nerve gas from automobile exhaust and even lawnmowers, deadly assaults, even in my yard, with knives, even bricks and stones, even deadly touch haven or electric shock flashlights, even remote electronically controlled around corners projection of deadly touch tarantula spiders, or even bloody murder accidents to shut me up forever with a sneak undetectable exterminations, even with trained parroting puppet assassins in maximum security insanity prison for writing these unforgivable truths until my undetectable extermination I, Francis E. Deck Esquire, 29 Maple Avenue, Kempstead, New York, I... No, 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 no! No! What the... Fuck! Fuck! All right, man. I'm sorry, man. I... All right, man. I, 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 dude, every time I try, every time I try, this is the kind of shit that I get. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Jesus Christ. How about 909 Radio Graffiti? Hey, Ghost, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, I just got out of the shower right now, and uh, I'm just listening to you at the moment, but... uh. Also, I wanted to laugh at you for getting snaked earlier. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah I'm pr pretty sure you're sticking a couple of fingers in your ass right now, gyrating it counterclockwise, and having a good old time with yourself, you fucking fruit bowl. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, how about Drunk Aussie, Radio Graffiti? There you go. Fuck, man, hell. <laughs> I was sitting on the lawn like a dead fuck, and I rang the fucking... Uh... Ah, uh, fuck you. Uh, fuck off. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. You see, you can thank Drunk Aussie for another fucking goddamn video, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, real funny. I was sitting all over like a dead eye writing and every night. Uh, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. You see this, man? You see what the fuck I got to put up with on a fucking consistent fucking basis? I mean, come on, man. You wonder why I do not want to do a show. And then you fuckers wonder why I do not want to do a goddamn show. All right, man. All right, where are we at? I don't even know where the fuck we're at, man. All right? You know what? I'm out of here. Fuck all of you people, all right? I'm fucking done. You people think this is a fucking game. It's July fucking 4th tomorrow, all right? Fuck you. Fuck all of you. I'm out of here. All right? I'm fucking sitting over here. I'm fucking putting myself... I'm going to be exhausted. Exhausted. Fucking tomorrow. All right? Fuck all of you. All right? I'm out of here. All right? All of you... All of you people that didn't get your goddamn fucking donation fucking played. I'm playing... Uh, maybe I'll do it fucking Friday or Sunday or some shit. All right? I fucking told all of you fucking pieces of shit that I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I'm fucking done. I'm done. All right? So go fuck yourselves. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Go fuck yourselves. I'm out of here. All right, seriously. Yeah, you know, I give time in my life to do this. Sh I hate this fucking show. You, I, I'm, I'm going to be very fucking frank with all of you. I hate this fucking show. Half of you, more than half of you, I wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire. You're pieces of shit. I hate you people. I hate you fucks. All right? And what do I do? I fucking sit here and I try to give you fucking idiots a little bit of this fucking stupid tomfoolery, goddamn stupid mental retardation bullshit. And what the fuck? Every fucking time, the same shit, different fucking plate, the same shit, different fucking plate. Well, let me tell you something, all right? All right, we're celebrating America's birthday, and I'll be goddamn if I'm going to have you fucking ruin this evening, and let alone tomorrow's evening, all right, you fucking piece of shit. So all of you people that are Americans and that are going to celebrate July 4th, all right, cheers to all of you. All of you anti-American, draft-dodging pieces of shit, go fuck yourselves. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all you.